Cameron Buford here, voice of the fans, LA News Observer. I'm sitting here with the legendary Willie T. Reels. How you doing, sir? How are you? I'm, well, I'm, I'm in LA. Yeah, well, it, I'm in La La. I'm look, in look, look the, the weather out here is fantastic. I oh, mean, yeah. can, can you beat this? Oh, yeah, no, it's a little cooler than back home in Texas. Is this better or worse? Come on, come on. Oh, no. the, oh not much, come on. We, much easier. No bugs but, out here? Yeah, no no oh, humidity? I love bugs. Oh, do you? I love bugs and rattlesnakes. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, you, you got me beat there. Yeah. I see you got the nice shoes there. No, oh, yeah. No, no, oh, yeah. The, the, oh, yeah. Those, those are custom art right there, huh? Oh, yeah. At, hey, if I'm going to be inducted into the Walk of Fame, I want to walk in with something famous, <laughs> right? Well, congratulations on that uh, acknowledgement. That was pretty, that was pretty right. cool. And uh, congratulations on your career, man. It's, it, your, your career, is kind of, you opened up a lot of eyes. Um, and you paved the way for a lot of people to kind of follow in your path. So congratulations on that. I know you weren't thinking about that at the time, but how does that make you feel that you, you, did, you did kind of trailblaze a, a legacy and you just wanted to race cars, if, if I remember correctly. That was your philosophy. I just want to race. I, whether it was at your grandparents, uh, going with your grandparents or coming back home, you just wanted to race cars. Well, it, and, and I wanted to be more than race. I wanted to win races. Oh, and that, excuse that, me. That, that, that's the objective. I mean, okay. if, no matter what sport you're in, if you're in it for any other reason than winning, it's not too serious. Well, yeah, why I, would I you do it? I, I, I did not. I was not interested in being a, a trailblazer. I was not interested in sports history. Okay. I didn't care about that. Okay. I was. I wanted to win races. Okay. And um, but you know the the, the people who chronicleize history. And, uh, and social progress, uh, they, they made it clear that I was blazing the trail, even though know, that's not the trail I was focused on. Sure, certainly, certainly. Well, some things happen, or um, uh, some things are happen because of you, you doing it. And though that was your focus, like you blazing that trail, you focusing on winning, you, you want to do what you wanted to do. Um, in that pathway, you did ha get a lot of people to follow you after years later. And because you were the first one to do it or, or one of the early ones to do it, people wanted to kind of follow your, your, your lead. And because you did win, you did win, and you were some of the fiercest race car driver around. As, as you know, already know, people didn't want you around because you could win. So nowadays, it's not as uncommon as it was back in the day. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we made... This country's made advancements um, yeah, socially, right? And, you know, auto racing has probably been the slowest to advance of all sports. I mean, if you look at tennis now, and if you look at golf, and if you look what's happened in this country, not this, not Formula One. Formula One has got Lewis Hamilton, uh, without a doubt, the greatest Formula One driver ever. But that's in Europe. That's primarily uh, in Europe. Um, I, 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 I see it happening, but for there to be progress, if that's what's in the interest of the sport, and that's what, and, and, and really, that should be the sport's number one focus, is Having a sport that represents what everyone looks like in this country, that should be their number one objective. Not necessarily the driver wanting, wanting that, but the sport should want it. Yeah, certainly. The certainly. sport wanted Jackie Robinson. Right. That's why the sport got Jackie Robinson. That's true. The sport has to want diversity and drivers of color, not just to be in the show, or in the race, but to win. Okay. What makes a good race car driver? From all of your experience and, and your desire, your passion to just to win races, as you put it, 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 you have to have more than that desire and that want to win. What makes a good race car driver? I mean, that, that can be answered several different ways. I mean, a drive, you, you've got to technically understand how to go fast, okay? I mean, it's one thing to, to drive fast. But it's another thing to be able to understand why you're going fast, or what makes you go fast. And being able to figure out um, with your mechanics or your engineers, 
this is why I'm going fast and this is why I'm not going fast. And, and that's understanding, understanding the car, yeah, understanding, understanding the make, the, the car, engine. Understanding the environment you're racing in, okay. whether it's wet surface okay. or dry surface. Understanding, you know, how to race somebody. And that, and that, when I was growing up, that's all I lived for as a kid. Understanding car control. How do I, how do I control this thing when it's out of control? Okay. Right? Okay. And understanding where where the limit is. Where the limit and the limit is the difference between crashing and not crashing. Right? Okay. Right, right, right. And to go past, you've got to be right on that edge of the limit and not go over. So one of the guys explained this to me. I was here last I was here last week and doing some race cars and I got a question I'm gonna ask you. I hope you don't knock my block off, but I got a question I'm gonna ask you, but one of the guys explained it to me best. He says, you have to be a 100 at all times. 101, you go into the wall. 99, you get past. And so that kind of narrowed down the, the uh, high, highlight, and I say the importance of being on focus at all the time. But let me, ask you, let me ask you this question. Even at a young age, and you're talking about understanding why you're going fast or how you're going fast, was design in your, in your thought process at that, at that time? Design of the vehicle. Um, being a mechanic, understanding how to torque the engine, how to strengthen, get more power out of the engine. Was that in your focus at the time? No, no that was never my focus. I was never uh, interested, and in, uh, my dad was uh, a great car builder, great okay. engine builder as well. Okay. I didn't want to focus on that side of the sport, right? The mechanical side. Great drivers like Bobby Unser, they, they, AJ Foy, they knew how to build cars and, and race them as well. I wanted to specialize on the technique of going fast, but at the same time, understanding the mechanical side. I might not be able to build a car, but I understand what would make it go quicker. Okay, right? that's kind of what I was getting at right yeah. there. Yeah. That's kind that, of what that part I understand. So you understood some of the, the mechanics of the car, the, but if, you just want to focus on getting that car to the top speed. Exactly, and okay. the engineers, the engineers I work with. When, when we talk about it in a debriefing, right? They'll ask me what I feel the car is doing and then they'll show me on telemetry, on a computer, okay, this is what you feel and this is what it says. And and that way, I mean, it, it confirms what you're feeling. Sure. And and sometimes you don't know. Right. Sometimes right. you can't give them an answer. Okay. Especially in India. Okay. Indy, Indianapolis is one of the most difficult, it is the most difficult place on the planet to go fast yeah, because of temperature change, ambiance, and, and, and track temperature. There's so many elements going fast at Indy, uh, and it's all deals with mostly aerodynamics, right? you got to understand that. And, 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 and your engineer will help you understand it, but he's got to rely on you to confirm, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. What, what was the most fun car to drive? What was the most, was Indy? Whichever one I won. <laughs> Whichever one. <laughs> right. I n I've never been in love with cars. Okay. Never. Okay. At home back in Texas, I drive a, a Lincoln Town car. <laughs> Everybody asks me, well, do you drive a Corvette or a Ferrari? Or No. I drive a Lincoln Town car. Well, why do you drive that? Because what am I going to buy that's going to duplicate an Indy car to drive on the street? And look, it's an Indy car. Right, right, right. So I drive, you know, my wife my wife likes to, you know, relax. we sit back and You're we ride down the Texas country road. Right? Okay. Last, last question. Uh, I got two more questions for you. But just one on the type of car you drive. Is it hard to when you're when you're on the when you're on the freeway, on the ten freeway? I don't know the ten or the forty. The forty goes south in Texas. Um, is it hard to ease up? Dial off the, it back. Is it hard to dial it back? It, 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 it's easy, and the reason I say it's easy because to go fast, you have to think about it. Okay. You have to really concentrate on going fast. Okay. Anybody can drive fast in a straight line. Uh -huh. but when you start driving through corners okay. fast, okay. that you have to focus on. Okay. So, you know, I'll, I'll sit back and I'll just, you know, and I, I haven't gotten stopped in a long time. 
All right? And when I do, usually they let me go. In fact, not most of, all the time. Oh, Mr. Rib, nice meeting you. We know, we know you know how to go fast. Just don't get another, don't let that guy up the road get you. Right? Right, right. So That's pretty funny. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Now, the, the one question I've been asking, uh, um, like I said, I was out here last week. I was asking all the race car drivers I talked to, are race car drivers athletes? Why or why not? I can tell you there is a wrestler named Goldberg. Very famous wrestler. Big guy. And he told me, he says, I drove around, I put a racing suit on, I put a helmet, and I drove around, they let me drive a car around the track, not super fast, but fast enough. He says, I could only do 10 laps. He says, I was dead, physically. I couldn't hold my head up, my neck was, uh, my helmet wanted to, head wanted to come off my shoulders. He says, I don't know how you guys do it. It is very physical, and some tracks are more physical than others. This for uh, Long Beach, for example, it's pretty damn physical, right? You got that long straightaway to rest in, but really you don't get any rest because it's a lot of twists. Well, turns because in. you're making this long bend and you're focusing on where the corner is and when you're going to get on the brakes, and all of it's in a split second, right? Mm -hmm. That's why all these drivers you see are skinny as a damn sport. <laughs> They all look like storks, right? That's how skinny they are because it is that physical. It's a, right, right. And then you got to be small to get in a car. Like I'm, I, oh, I could, no. I could have shared a, a pound no, or two. No, you got to be. No, no, you no, got to. You, you're going, you're going to cut yourself in half, son. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you're going to take a chainsaw and go down half size. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you know, you most of the drivers are are smaller because weight is a factor. Weight is a factor. You know, you get a big heavy guy in the car. It's, it's uh, one horsepower for every 10 pounds of weight. There you go. There you go. All right? So yeah, one horsepower that. for every 10 so, pounds So you're of slowing weight. that car down. All right. And then the engineers don't want that. Mr. Rip, this has been fantastic. I want to thank you again. My name is Cameron Buford, Voice of the Fans, LA News Observer. So this video will be po posted. Do you want to... Are you on social media at all? You yeah, want to share? I'm on Twitter. You want to let the people know how they can find you on Twitter. Find me on Twitter. What's uh, your Twitter handle? My Twitter, Willie T. Ribs. There you go. That's right. simple enough. Simple Willie enough. T. Ribs. Thank you so much With for your y. time. With the Y. With the Y. Thank you so much for your time, man. It's been great. All right. Thank you.